As you found out from my last video, Medians asked me to do a two hour lecture on ballet dance props for the Napier Festival. And I thought I'd actually do the research once and actually produce two things, a lecture and a video. Unfortunately, I sort of ran over time for a YouTube video. So uh, last time I looked at traditional props. This time I'm going to look at um, the more recent innovations. Hi, I'm Kashmir, and as I mentioned in the previous video, I quickly went over what a prop is. So a belly dance prop is something that is an addition to the belly dance. Um, so it isn't just about the prop, or shouldn't be, otherwise it's not a belly dance prop, it is a dance in itself. And in the last video, I had a look at some of the traditional props from the Middle East that have been used for generations. And in this video, I want to briefly look at some of the things that have been added to the dance since then. What about the things that have been um, added to the dance from outside? Now the first group of props is what I think of as the fantasy props. These are the props that build the belly dancer as she should be. So we have for this example Veil. Now yes I know Veil was used in the Middle East in the, in the 20th century. In Egypt it tended to be a sort of um, enter and discard and it was also used to Turkey, probably a little bit more in Turkey, but nothing like Western Vale. Um, so you, you don't have the, the, the peekaboo stuff, the, you know, the wrap and unwrap, um, nor do you have the modern dance a la Isadora Duncan, um, you know, just with beautiful swirling fabric. So that is definitely a Western innovation. And please don't say Salome. Salome never belly danced and she didn't have seven, she didn't even have one veil. So nope, no Salome. So what else have we got? Fantasy. We've also got the tambourine. Now the tambourine, I have yet to meet someone who has actually seen a traditional use of a tambourine. I don't, I guess I know there's one where Amani dances around with the tambourine, but it's not actually a traditional one. She's actually put that in as a prop. Um, the tambourines come out again because of, of the fantasy of what a belly dance is from the West. And it's thought of as you know, a belly dancer, it's a gypsy. And everyone knows what gypsies dance like. So this is confusing uh, rom dance and belly dance and all sorts of racial stereotypes. We won't go there. We won't use tambourines for a week. And snakes. Oh, yes. Ah, Dr. Freud. Just step away. Yeah, snakes go back to the 1960s. The outsiders have also brought in a whole series of props. Yes, they've brought in those pots and those baskets because there's nothing that says village woman going to the well like a pot on your head or a basket on your shoulder. Um, so there is a lot of balancing there. Um, but it doesn't look like the Tunisian stuff and it doesn't look like the Egyptian stuff. It just looks like Western stuff. You also see swords. Uh, and again, in the Middle East, a sword is normally danced by, with, by a man and there is one, just one account of a Middle Eastern woman dancing with a sword and balancing it on her head. So we don't know if it was a tradition um, that was never ever seen anywhere else or if it was just one woman who thought, hey, that's a neat idea, I'm going to give it a go. There is, traditionally you have the candelabra on your head in the West, you have the candle on the hand, and there's all that sort of, you know, really complicated stuff where you actually keep the, hand, you know, the candle moving around, usually with all the lights out, so you just see these lights sort of going around and around the stage. Now, there's one significant difference from most, not all, most Western-style balancing acts and the Middle Eastern ones. On the whole, most of the Western ones are slow. There's a lot of drama. There's a lot of tension. And you sort of feel like you're in the middle of a New Age ritual. Whereas if you look at the, um, the balancing 
in the Middle East, it tends to be more exciting. They're trying to frighten the audience. They're fast. There's lots of turns. There's lots of level changes. There's lots of abrupt level changes. There's rolling around on the floor with a tray on your head. So it's quite different between the two. The last group I'm going to mention is fusion. So this is where a dance prop that comes from a, a non-Middle Eastern style dance has been pulled into belly dance. And sometimes these are double or triple fusions because not only have you got a foreign prop, you have uh, non-Middle Eastern music and often non-Middle Eastern dance vocabulary. In fact, you sort of wonder why they call it belly dance, but it's not, let's not go there. One of the most dramatic additions to the belly dance repertoire is Isis wings, or just wings they're sometimes called. Now this is a burlesque prop and it's been around for a while, um, but as a, as a belly dance prop, as it's new, it's great for filling up large spaces if you want to make drama, if you've got a large uh, stage, if you've got a large conference centre, wings are the way to go. Uh, I prefer it if you also belly dance underneath the wings rather than just flap them around. In China, we have silk fans, sometimes called fan veils, and um, they're very beautiful, and they've been around for with belly dance for about a decade, after about 3,000 years in China. There was a brief time uh, I know of where um, fire and belly dance were fused, so you had belly dancers with fire sticks and fire poi. A little less of them these days, uh, with health and safety regulations, they don't tend to like live fire in, in theatres. And I've been told that this is one of the reasons that voy was developed. So it gives you the feel of actually having a fire poi without any fire. Whether or not that's true, this is definitely a, a fusion because, of course, poi comes from the Pacific. Now that is just a quick overview. I mean, I haven't even covered what I'm going to cover in Napier. Mind you, I've got two hours there. Um, but it just gives you an idea of the breadth of things that people have added to belly dance to liven it up and to get the audience going.